First, what we're going to actually find is the density of your dead oil. So I don't know if this is covered in the notes or not, but if you define a density of a dead oil, what you do, so your row, so or you can do like standard uh, conditions, is going to equal, it's 62.4, but if you want to like be more specific, it'll be 62.368 times your specific gravity of your oil. So in this case, like our specific gravity of our oil is uh, 0 0.81556, which will give us um, a density of 50.865, and that should be pounds per alpha cubed. Using this, we can find what BO is, um, formation volume factor above bubble point. So we're gonna be using uh, this equation right here. So for BO, it's going to equal your BO at your bubble point. So it's gonna be BOB. And then it's going to be, um, when it's simplified, you're gonna have it to be one minus CO P minus PB. So you can use this equation to find your um, uh, formation volume factor of your oil above bubble point. And so for below bubble point, you're going to be using equations 3.44 and 3.45. Um, and you can also use this equation to find your BO at bubble point as well. So for these equations, you're going to have, so this is going to be above PB. And for below PB, you're going to have the equations, BO is going to equal to 0 0.9759 plus 12 times 10 to the negative fifth and then times CBO to the 1.2 power. And to find CBO, CBO is going to equal RSO, so your RSO at your pressure of interest, times gamma G over gamma O, to so 0 0.5 power plus 1.25 times your temperature, which in this case, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And so for this, we already know what our RSO is at bubble point, like I said, because you can use this at and below uh, bubble point. So our RSO in this case was, is going to be 900. Our gamma G is going to be uh, 0 0.7. Our gamma O is going to be 0 0.81. Um, and our temperature is 120, so we can calculate what CBO is real quick. So that's going to be, so our CBO is going to equal 983.803. And now plugging that in um, to the equation right here. So we're going to have 0 0.9759 plus 12 times 10 to the negative fifth times your CBO, which we just calculated as 983.803 to the 1.2 power. And we get that BO at bubble point is going to equal, so BO at PB, so uh, bubble point is going to equal 1.44 for uh, BBL per STB. And if you think about it, it makes sense. Your BO should never be less than one because you can't have um, a volume of barrel of oil um, in which is going to be of greater volume than what your stock tank barrel of uh, volume of oil would be. And so your stock tank barrel oil is going to be like your oil at standard conditions. So it's going to be expanded as much as possible 
to where your um, reservoir barrel of oil is going to be a lot smaller. It's going to be uh, compressed. So, um, and so to find the BO um, at above bubble point, like I said, we're going to be using this equation right here. And now that we have our BO PB, we can uh, use that equation to find that. So our BO at 4,000 psi is going to equal. Um, four, 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 four. That was one minus, and the compressibility of the oil, uh, four, because we're doing this at 4,000 psi. Um, I have it on my notes. Compressibility of the oil is going to be 1.208 times 10 to negative 5, which we found earlier. So, right, to put that in real quick. And then the P in this case is going to be uh, 4,000. And PB is just going to be a rubble point pressure, which we found was 2,634.4. And so our BO um, above bubble point is going to equal 1.420179. And this is good because your BO above bubble point should always be uh, below what your BO is at bubble point. So if you actually look at a graph for BO with respect to pressure, so you can have pressure here. BO here, it's going to look something similar to this, something similar to that. And so this right here is going to be your PB, and this right here will be your BOB. And so as your pressure increases towards bubble point, gas will dissolve in solution, which allows um, the oil to take the place of the gas in the reservoir. So your volume of your oil is going to be increasing in the reservoir. And once you reach bubble point, there's no more gas to dissolve. And so that's as much volume as you can possibly have. But as your pressure increases even more, um, the forces, because of your pressure is increasing, your actual fluid is going to actually be decreasing in size, which causes your BO to actually drop um, at pressures above your bubble point pressure. And so once we have that, we can also find what our BO is at um, 2,000 PSI. And like according to this graph, as you can see, our BO should still be less than what our BO is at bubble point. Because like our BO at bubble point should be your maximum uh, formation volume factor. So your BO at 2000 PSI is going to equal, so we're going to be using this equation again for uh, uh, below bubble point. And so the only thing that's going to be changing in this equation is your RS value. And so as you can see over here, our RS value for 2000 PSI is 648.145 which will give us a different uh, CB value, CBO value. And so let's do that real quick. So we have 648. So our new uh, CBO value is going to be 750.47. And then we're just going to plug that back into this equation up here for CBO. So we're going to get a 0 0.9. So our BO value is going to be 1.3. 1.4 BBL per STB. And like as I said, like you expected a lower value just because you're not at the bubble point yet. So there's still free gas in the reservoir where oil has not taken up that volume yet. So once you get to that point where it will, then it's, like I said, you'll have your maximum BO value. So once we have these three uh, BO values, the next thing we can do is define the density of our oil um, at bubble point, or above bubble point and below bubble point, which is where we're going to be actually using uh, this relationship at. And so I'll just, I'm going to erase this real quick and then uh, have some new workspace. So now to find the density of your oil at bubble point and below bubble point, we're going to be using an equation 3.51 to do this, which is going to be O equals, which is just this, uh, that right there. Uh, which the RSO is going to be your pressure of interest for your density. And so, uh, as I said earlier, so the BO for uh, 2000 PSI was 1.3144. So that's what's going to be used here. So.
for. Um, and like our RSO, since this is going to be below bubble point or at bubble point, so first one we'll do below bubble point. So our BL will be 1.3144 BBL per SDB. Our RS will be 648.145 and our row ST will be 50.865. So this will give us a value of So this will give us a density of forty three point three six pounds per foot cubed. And this is for two thousand psi. Now to do it at bubble point, same equation. The only thing that's going to be changing is your RS value and your BO value. So your RS value at bubble point um, is going to be nine hundred. Um, and your BO value at bubble point is going to be 1.44. So, doing that, we will get. We'll get a density of 41.4. One one four pound per foot cubed at bubble point. Now to find the density of uh, your oil above bubble point, you're going to be using um, an equation similar to what it was for uh, BO. Um, so it's going to be rho O equals row OB, which is just going to be this right here. Um, one plus your compressibility of your oil at bubble point. I'm sorry, the compressibility of your oil at your uh, pressure of interest. So it's going to be P minus PB. And so, like I said, we're going to do this for uh, 4,000 uh, PSI because it's for above bubble point. So this will turn into 41.114, one plus, which our CO at 4,000 PSI was 1.2. Zero eight times ten to the negative five, and times our pressure, which is going to be four thousand. That's the pressure we're doing it for. Minus our bubble point pressure, which is going to be two thousand six hundred thirty-four point four. And this will give us our density of our oil at four thousand psi, which is going to be. Forty one point seven nine pounds per foot cubed. And once we find our density of our oil, we can then move on to uh, viscosity of our oil, which is going to be using a um, few equations. It's going to be using equation 3.53, 3.54, and 3.55. Um, and so, our viscosity of our oil, so the main equation. Is going to be it's going to be a times the viscosity of the oil d. It's going to be to the b power. And this is going to be valid for uh, below bubble point pressure and at bubble point pressure. And so. 
what we can do is our a constant is going to equal 10.715 times RSO plus 100 to the negative 0 0.515 power and B is going to equal 5.44 times RSO plus 150 to negative 0 0.338 power. Okay, so for solving this equation, um, you're going to need A, B, and also mu O, D. To solve mu O, D, you're going to be using equation 3.52 uh, in the notes, which, um, I'll write it out here, it's going to be log base 10 of log base 10 of mu O D plus 1 is going to equal to 1.8653 minus 0 0.025086 times your API of your oil which is 42 minus 0 0.56 Four, four times log base 10 of your temperature in Fahrenheit, which is going to be 120. So just doing that calculation beforehand, your viscosity of your dead oil is going to be 1.512 center poise. So that's going to be plugged in right here. So then we can finish calculating what A and B is. And uh, yeah, so A is going to equal, this is going to be for pressures below bubble point. So I'm gonna be doing this for 2000 PSI at first. So at 2000 PSI, we see our uh, solution gas oil ratio is 648. So 10.715 times 48. So we get that A is equal to 0 0.3547. And when we solve for B, we get we get B is equal to zero point five six eight four. So then using this equation, we can solve for the viscosity of oil at 2,000 PSI. So our viscosity of our oil will be 0.3. Yeah. So our viscosity of our oil is going to be at 2,000 PSI A. It's going to equal 0 0.4486 center poise. And then we can also find what the viscosity of the oil is above bubble point, which is going to be using equation 3.56. And then I'll just re erase this and do that then. Okay. In order to calculate um, the viscosity of the oil above bubble point, we also need to find what the viscosity of the oil is at bubble point. So using these equations, um, I'll just find what the viscosity of the oil is at bubble point. So I'll just do that up in this workspace up here because it's pretty crammed around here. So your viscosity of your oil at bubble point, it's, you're still gonna be using like your A, um, B, and your dead oil viscosity. The only thing that's changing here is your RSO value, which your RSO will now be 900. So our A is going to uh, equal, so, A will equal 0 0.305. B will equal 
B will equal 0 0.518. And so uh, mu O D will still be uh, 1.512. And so plugging that in, we get 0 0.305 times the viscosity of dead oil, which is 1.512, to the power of B, which the power of B is just 0 0.518. So we get that our viscosity of our oil. Just want to check. Yeah, our viscosity of our oil at bubble point is going to be 0. 3778, which I'm going to write over here. So, viscosity of the oil at bubble point, equal, this is center poise, 0 0.3778 center poise. And then for our next calculation, we're just going to find what the viscosity of the oil is above bubble point. So, we'll do 4000 psi.